Thanks, Chris. Well, this month we are spotlighting black businesses every Monday, and today we're taking you to Greer. A food truck called 87 Flavors is so popular. They sell out each week, and I'm already hungry thinking about this. Fox Carolina's Teresa Bulls has learned what makes their meals so special. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Tori, this is how I found out about 87 Flavors. Someone retweeted their picture of the salmon grilled cheese sandwich. At that time, it had thousands of retweets, so I had to try it. But when I went to order, they were sold out. So I found out what keeps Pierre Gwynn's customers coming back. I actually, I order four different plates. You always got to support your own people. Kadeem Swindler says it's his first time at 87 Flavors. He's one of the many customers that missed the deadline the first time around, but this time he's getting all of his food to surprise his parents for Valentine's Day. I didn't try to order about three times. They've been sold out, so he was telling me you got to order a day ahead. Sometimes when you click on their website, you get this message sold out. The demand behind the food other than the flavor is driven by social media and word of mouth. That's how the man behind the food truck, Pierre Gwynn, started the business in the first place. I started um, just posting my home food on my social media and I got a lot of feedback and people were suggesting that I uh, start a restaurant. So that's kind of how I came up with the idea. So he did. Facebook is how Swindler found them. I kept seeing people posted or whatnot, so I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab some. Gwen says the reach has people from other states coming to Greer to check them out. The other day, someone from Greenville, North Carolina came. That's a five-hour drive with only two people behind the window running the place. I put a little love into it. Also, I create my own seasoning, so that's the major ingredients that go into it that make it stand out from others. Now he runs the truck full time, adding new recipes when he can, and he never takes it for granted. I think it's really important to support black business because it once was a time where blacks couldn't have businesses. I asked Gwen if he has plans to open a brick and mortar restaurant. He says he's taking it day by day. And if you need a recommendation, the chicken pasta, 87 out of 10. Tori.